Good morning everyone, Shufu here from Fragrance BD and today I'm going to talk about another perfume and this time this is going to be The Dark Side from the house of Francesca Bianchi. So Francesca Bianchi, she is the performer and she is the owner of this per, uh, house and she, this is a creation uh, from 2016. So the, uh, you can see the name Dark Side. So this is according to Francesca. So this is uh, the dark side of our inner soul so we have many secrets every person have a secret that or some secrets that we don't want people to know so these evils those type of feeling are the private mysterious side uh, so this is according to Francesca so um, as you can see that this is a 30 ml presentation and this is an extra to perform so all of the perform from this house comes in 30 ml presentation and they are extra to perform so um let's talk about the bottle now so here is the bottle as you can see this is a really nice simple uh presentation of the bottle it's a 30 ml presentation really small and the cap is good you can hold the cap and it doesn't fall and so let's let's talk about uh the notes here uh they have honey spices iris violet sandalwood cedarwood Styrax, uh, amber, incense, patchouli, vanilla, and vetiver. So these, uh, as you can see, the, uh, these are really, there are a lot of notes here. This is a really complicated fragrance. And uh, these are from the books. So let's talk about, let's open the cap. Let's spray it and let's see what I get from this fragrance. As you can see, this prayer is really good. Oh, so this is the opening is really, really, really strong and dark. So I get woody and warm spicy notes. This is really strong. Mm, yes. So that's what I get in the opening. So I've been wearing this today, the whole day, and also yesterday as well. So after 15 to 20 minutes, I get honey and vanilla in it. So that makes it more, more uh, like like less dark so this is this smooth in the progression uh, really well and then it is followed by amber iris incense patchouli and uh, they all the combination of these notes they make it really nice and like uh, it's dark but it's not that dark as the opening and this is a wonderful combination of the dark side the Udi side and the Grimandish notes. So this is really great, really wonderful craftsmanship. And then in the dry down at around uh, two hours mark, uh, it's mostly sandalwood. And also those uh, those other notes are still there, uh, but then the sandalwood and the cedarwood again, it dominates. And it, the dry down is mostly like uh, the Santal 33 from Le Labo. So that's what I get. So as uh, there are so many notes there, they're really difficult to identify which notes are coming when, but that was my interpretation from this fragrance. So like I would give this fragrance eight out of 10 in terms of smell, in terms of performance. Performance is really, really good. There's a really strong projection. I would recommend not to spray more than two especially during daytime so and um projection is really well longevity it stays the whole day and if you by chance put it on the cloth it's going to stay forever even if you wash it so this is really strong so um that's it um wonderful craftsmanship wonderful perfume and um it's a really it will be a great perfume for night out or evening uh, and also from for date night but as it's a dark fragrance i would also recommend you to focus on the personality of the person you are meeting with or people around you sometimes like they're like you know their perfume is really subjective and uh, although this is a really seductive fragrance but like some people may not like it but to my nose, this is a really, really wonderful fragrance, really wonderful combination of dark and gourmandish. Like, this is really wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Francesca Bianchi, for the wonderful perfume. Thank you.
Oh, 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 oh,